Today I'm going to show you guys how to do cool thumbnails for uh, GTA Online or GTA 5. Now to start, the, the first thing you want to do is you want to put yourself in record mode. And the way to do this, at least on the PC version, is to press F1. And that, uh, that starts the recording. And once you're done with your recording, you can uh, press F1 again to shut it off. And uh, then you can go into the editor. And then from there, that's where you'll uh, make your nice little thumbnail or a screenshot whatever you want to do uh, but uh, first thing we got to do is get a nice little screenshot so I was just gonna jump on the motorcycle and I saw this nice little ramp up here so we were just gonna jump on that and uh, press record when we do it that way we can have a really nice thumbnail but uh, let me press F1 I'm gonna start recording so you see on the bottom left uh, on, the, on the radar you see that it's recording right now so now I'm just gonna jump up here and we're gonna do this Ooh, ah. <laughs> I was gonna try to land on that boat, it didn't work out. Alright, but that's, that's pretty much it. Now I can just shut off the recording. So there it goes, it saved the clip. So now we're gonna jump into the editor. Okay, and to jump into the editor, you have to go back into the single player mode. So you have to get off of online. And then uh, what you wanna do is you wanna scroll through these menus. So you're gonna go all the way to Rockstar Editor. So you're gonna jump into Rockstar Editor, and then from here, you're gonna create a new project. So you go ahead and continue. You're gonna add a clip, and you're gonna actually find the clip that you just did. So it was this one right here. So it was the January 7th one. So I'm gonna start this one up. And then uh, from here, we can edit. So when we go into editing the clip, we can actually uh, make it so that we can free the camera so that you can get any angle you want out of it. So uh, let's go to cameras and then we're gonna switch over to free camera. And then uh, then from here you see you can, you can kind of uh, do whatever you want with it. So if I wanna take a screenshot like this, I could. And you can get some like nice little angles. You can get a close up, you can do whatever you want with it. So uh, what we were gonna do is get the one where I was actually jumping off that ramp. So uh, let's get this to play. So I'm gonna make this cycle through. So we need you can either play it like this, or you can actually just get to the part where the action happens. But uh, let me change the camera angle. So we're just gonna get back on him play it get to the part where it actually jumps off the thing see and then from here you can kind of do whatever you want with it you see like uh, this camera angle already looks pretty cool but uh, you can actually uh, kind of you know flip around through it and see what part you like the most and then just pick your thumbnail from there so I'm gonna go to cameras I'm gonna go back to free camera there it is Go back to that. So now I have to get back into editing. Pre camera, edit camera. All right. So now where am I? There I am. Holy shit. So I'm in the middle of the air. So if I, I wanted to take a screenshot of this, you know, you can kind of do this like that. And the way to get rid of all this HUD and all this stuff, you just press H and that gets rid of it completely. And then you can get a nice little screenshot. So if I wanted to take a screenshot of this, I could. But let me see if I can get something nicer. Okay, so I think I finally settled on uh, this as my thumbnail. And it's also going to be the thumbnail for the video. Uh, so what I was going to do is just press H to clear the HUD. And then you're going to press uh, print screen. And then uh, that's just going to save a, a screenshot of, of what's going on here. But what I'm going to be using is Photoshop, but you can also use uh, uh, the MS Paint, like the Windows Paint thing, if you want to. So what you can do is just open up your Start Menu, and then uh, open up your uh, your Photoshop. Let's say, for example, I'm just going to open up Photoshop. Okay, and then uh, when I'm inside Photoshop here, I'm just going to start up a new project. I'm playing on 720p, so I'm just going to leave it at that. So that's already the same size. Then you're gonna press Control and V and that paste it onto the screen and there it is. So that's the exact screenshot of uh, my whole screen. And then uh, from here you can do whatever you want. So you could even, uh, you can crop in it, you can get it a little bit closer if you wanted to, or you could even uh, uh, kind of add text or whatever you want. 
So from here, you pretty much have full control over whatever you want to do with, with your thumbnail or your picture or if you even want to take screenshots of the game and uh, put them on Facebook or wherever. Wherever you want to do it with them, you got full control over it. So I think this is really awesome. I was looking all over the internet for how to do this and I ended up trying to figure it out myself, which took me a really long time. So uh, I hope you guys uh, find this useful. And if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up and a thumbs down if you didn't. And I will see you on the next one. Later.